Sometimes people get suspended for pretty lame reasons. But have you ever heard of someone getting suspended over liking a photo on Instagram? Me neither. Until now. What is good potatoes? This is IO. My name is Charlotte Dobre. Do me a favor and click that bell notification so you'll be one of the first to know when we upload videos. I do respond to the first comments when the video goes up, so get your comments in fast. Before I get into the story, I want to know what is the dumbest reason you've ever gotten in trouble for at school? Write your responses in the comments down below. A middle schooler named Zachary Bolin was suspended from school for 10 days for liking a picture of a gun on Instagram. He didn't repost or comment or do anything like that. He probably barely even gave it longer than a second of thought as he scrolled through his Instagram feed. His parents were shocked to find out the reason for his suspension. Usually teenagers get suspended for things like, I don't know, missing class, being perpetually late, and fighting in school. But I mean, really? Liking a photo? Suspension say on your school records. And get this, the picture wasn't even of a real gun. It was an airsoft gun. You know, the ones with the plastic plastic bullets that your brother shoots you with and it gets you in the eye and you cry a lot. Just me. Zachary also liked the photo when he wasn't even at school. It was around 7 or 8 o'clock at night. And then the next day, he was called to the principal's office and they treated him like a criminal. He was pat down and checked for weapons for liking a picture of a plastic gun. Obviously, once his parents found out the reason for their son's suspension, they made such a fuss that Zachary was allowed to return to school. But the school only did this after they sent an email to every student's parents claiming that there was a threat and that it was addressed. Then, when the superintendent was contacted and asked to comment for Fox 19, he defended the suspension. He said, The board has zero tolerance of violent, disruptive, harassing, intimidating, bullying, or any other inappropriate behavior by its students. Students are also subject to discipline as outlined in the student code of conduct that occurs off school property when the misbehavior adversely affects the educational process. Um, what? <laughs> While I understand that it's better safe than sorry when it comes to school violence, do we not agree that the school kind of overreacted a little bit? Let me know your thoughts on this story in the comments down below. But for now, I'm gonna respond to some comments from previous videos. Dark Portal Girl said, Charlotte, I've been getting hate, can you help me? Well, I don't know the circumstances, but whenever I get hate, I step back. When it comes down to it, people who write negative comments are sad and angry. They're projecting their insecurities onto you. Happy, confident people don't waste their time trolling others. So just step back, understand who you're talking to, and just stop caring. Because when it comes down to it, it really doesn't matter. Is it gonna matter in five years? Then it doesn't matter. Sarah Marzouk said, Potato Leader Charlotte, if you were willing to see anyone as a ghost, who would it be? I'd like to meet Elizabeth the first as a ghost. She was a very interesting person and I would definitely like to talk to her. I also would not like to be haunted by her, but just a chat would be nice. Official Chespinny said, information overload is better than actual news. Well, hey, thanks. Glad you like our videos. If you enjoyed that video, smash the like button, subscribe to IO if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys soon.